Okay, so now we're going to record. We're going to do um, uh, Z index. So we're going to take this is part two. If you missed part one, go back out to YouTube.com/OCDigitalArts and look for basic boxes and CSS positioning. This is part two, which is going to take the same things we did and show you how Z index works. So Z index um, is kind of like if you've done any 3D modeling, you might have heard of the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Well the Z axis is how it's coming at you. X and Y, vertical and horizontal. The Z axis is what gives it that three dimensionality. So in this lesson we're going to show you how to make it um, where we have boxes that are overlapping. So let's start by changing the name of this box. So this basic box, let's change this to file save as and we'll call this one Z index. Alright and then go and change the title to be Z index. All right. Now I'm going to take and since I've already have uh, style information for box one and box two from last time, right? Uh, I'm going to go to my HTML code and change the box one and box two to box three and box four. All right, and save that, and then go to my style sheet, and I'm going to copy all of the CSS styling for box one and box two and paste it right after that. So now and then of course of course I need to go and change that from box one and two to box three and four. So we don't have to go repeat all the colors, the width, the height, the padding, etc. etc. Alright? So the main thing I want to change in here is going to be the positioning. So on the box number three, we're going to keep the same color, keep the margin, the height, the padding, the width, all right? And the one we're going to add after that is going to be Z index, okay? And we're going to make this Z index one, okay? And this is going to be a position we have to have two things. We have to have a position of relative. That means that it's going to be it's going to position itself relative to the pieces around it. All right? And we're going to add those same styles to the other box as well, except for the position the Z index on this one is going to be 2. So let's see what this does. Oh, and there's one other thing we need to change. And in order to make this move up to the top and kind of overlap the other box, we're going to change the margin top and the margin left of this fourth box. So um, at the end here, let's put in margin uh, top and um, we don't put a positive number because that'll push it away from the top box. We're going to put in a negative number. So we're going to put in a negative 175 pixels. So that'll move it upward. All right? And then on the left margin, we're going to move it to the right. So in order to do that, we create a margin left. And we're going to push it to the right about 180 pixels. All right, so if we save that and we look at that, um, go back to our source code, click the live view button, and now you can see what's happened to that fourth box. So with a position, a Z index of 1 on the purple box and a Z index of 2 on the red box, you can see how Z index works. It looks at a focal point, which is the browser, and it starts counting outwards as it approaches you, your visual eye, you looking at this. So since two is a larger number than one, the Z index on the red box is closer to you than the purple box. And that's how it works. 
Uh, if I put in z index of 3 for the red box, that's fine as long as that number is higher than the purple box, it'll always show closer to you, the viewer, okay, or on the top of the layer stack if you want to look at it that way. Okay, so that's z index.